Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. This is Word Association with Kyle Walker. Kyle, here's how it's going to work. In front of me are a list of words slash sentences. I'm going to read them out and you're going to write down on the Saturday Social whiteboard the first word that springs to your mind. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Let's okay. First up, Jack Grealish. How do you describe him in one word? <laughs> turkey. Turkey. Go on. Why is Jack Grealish a turkey? I just feel from obviously the fun that we had after winning the treble. Yeah. He kept on doing this and that's his nickname now that we call him the turkey. Um, right. Just because, like, listen, it was a unbelievable occasion um, to win the treble yeah. and to win it how we did and I think we all should have been turkeys because <laughs> <laughs> we all should have drunk a lot more than what we did. Fastest player in the Premier League. Give me a name on the board who you think is the quickest player in the Prem right now. Kyle Walker is saying Kyle Walker. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Go on. I still have to say me. Yeah. I think Doku. Yeah. Could be up there. Okay. Um, Martinelli's very quick. Yeah. But I'd still say I'm always anticipating the striker or the, the, the winger yeah. of what they're doing. So I have to react and then get back. If everyone has a race in the Prem, I'd love oh, to yeah, see Oh yeah, 100 metre, 100 yeah. metre race. You back yourself yeah. all day long. Yeah, all day long. Not even a photo finish, you're taking it? Yeah, I'm taking it. <laughs> Comfortably. Yeah, yeah. Nose, I love my, it. My nose will get there. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I love it. Uh, next up, toughest ever opponent. Mm. Oh, Neymar. Neymar. Yeah. Hardest player I've ever come up against. Go on, why Neymar? Because as I said, you've played against so many top players. Yeah, I, it could have been a few. I think I've said it before in a load of interviews. Mane, Hazard, mm. you know, at Chelsea when he was incredible. Um, but I just feel Neymar, Vinicius Junior, Mbappe, um, that Neymar just brings something where nothing's ever the same. Right, okay. Where you can watch certain clips on other players and you know the movements or you know the patterns where. I think Neymar plays like he's in the school playground. It's hard to predict. So, so yeah, so so, yeah, so yeah. you can watch as many videos as you want, but on the day you could come up with something completely different. Yeah. I think that's what makes him, you know, stand out from from the rest. Who do you think should win the Ballon d'Or? Announcement is very soon. Big E. Big E. Yeah. You're talking about Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland. Is Holland, that yeah. what you call him? Is that his nickname? Yeah, Big E. He's well. just massive, isn't he? <laughs> that's he's what it comes from, yeah. Big E. Yeah, we've, yeah, we've had to buy a new bed in the treatment room because he don't fit on the normal bed. <laughs> is, that, is that true? Yeah, yeah, he's had to have his own <laughs> special bed. So uh, I, I'd say him. I think, you know, it's probably a toss up between him and Messi. Yeah. But I just feel, you know, with the records that he set last year. Incredible, isn't it? The goals. Yeah, the, amount, this, of goals the, the amount of goals scored for someone to produce that amount of goals. Um, and then for us to go on and win the treble, yeah. uh, but uh, you know, Messi, how he you know handled the World Cup and the pressure yeah. on him to at the World Cup as well. You know, I think it's a toss of a coin, but I'd, I'd have to go with him and just the the, uh, the club side of it. We've heard what he's like on the pitch. We've seen what he's like on the pitch. What's he like off the pitch? He seems like a bit of a character as well, and one that all the all the lads love to be around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good laugh. He's a good laugh. Obviously, he's a superstar. Yeah. He's a superstar, and. Um, in the nicest way possible, he knows that. Really? But he, he's yeah. not arrogant with that. Right. Like yesterday, we was walking out, I think we was going out to training, not yesterday, the day before on the yeah. game, and um, he's walking in front of me, and I've just held the lads back, and he must grow two inches, and he's his walk gets slower and he just goes. It's <laughs> milking yeah, it a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but, that, but that's that. him, and to be fair, you know, he, he, he's a brand. Yeah, he's yeah, football yeah. is now, he's, yeah. a, he's a brand, and. Um, he can do that, and I'll keep letting him do that as long as he's playing football and scoring the goals that he went and got the brace at. You know, hopefully he's put his one step closer and getting to that important stage in the yeah. Champions League. Our next one, Manchester is. So Manchester is blue. Hopefully I've not spoke too soon, uh, because obviously it's a massive game at the weekend. <laughs> um, I also will say that because it rains all the time as well. <laughs> yeah. Clever. Yeah, yeah. You've out as so well. I've gotten out as well. So <laughs> listen, we hope obviously for the for the football club for us in the table. It's a, it's yeah. a massive game for the city, for the bragging rights, etc., etc. It's a massive game, but um, over the number of years, I think you know we have come out trumps and on top, um, and hopefully we can do that again. You know, at Old Trafford, you yeah. know, come this Sunday. Massive game. How you feeling ahead of it? Are there games that you love playing in? I'm guessing. These the games that you want to play in, especially at, you know at Old Trafford. 
Um, it's it's going to be a good atmosphere. Um, and we we want to win. We want to win. We need to win, um, and we need to get the bragging rights. The best right back in the world right now. Trips, yeah. Trips. Yeah, Trips. top player. Yeah. For you, best right back in world football. Why, why did you go with Trips? He's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good he's one. My friend, yeah. Um, when Trips signed, I think he came for 12 million. Everyone's saying, oh, he's just come for the money, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I know Trips. I know Trips yeah. personally, and he's a good friend of mine. And he came because he had a point to prove, I feel, that when he left Tottenham, he probably left, you know, not on the best of notes and not on the best of forms. Went to Atletico. I think learned a lot. Mm from Simeone and just, you know, managing. Won the league as yeah, well. Yeah, won the league, yeah. yeah. Managing managing a football match. Mm -hmm. And I think he's brought that level of experience onto Newcastle now where they're going on and doing what they're doing in the Premier League and he's a key part of that team. Yeah, I like that you put that because he's, he's a top player, top bloke as well. And yeah. he's having a great season. And also, I did this feature with uh, Kieran Trippier, a similar feature. Yeah. I asked him best right back and he said Carl Walker. So I don't yeah, know if there's yeah. a bit of loving going on between you two. Uh, we're there, just friends, aren't we? We've known each other <laughs> for a long time. So I like it a lot. I like your back, mate. <laughs> Like it. Next up, someone you'll be coming up against, someone you know very well, Marcus Rashford. How do you describe Marcus Rashford? Top. Top. I think he's incredible. Mm. I think he is one of the hardest wingers and the most exciting wingers to play with and against. Really? That's interesting. I feel sometimes that Marcus, you know, obviously he goes on a run of form and he gets the goals that he did last season. He, he was electric and fantastic probably got Manchester United into the Champions League. Mm. For me, Marcus, and I'm not just saying this because he's a new teammate, should be, you know, ranked right up there with the likes of, you know, Mbappe, Vinicius Junior and these type of wingers because he, he has got that ability, you know, to drive up players one v one. The shot, you know, it's a touch bang with both feet, yeah. you know, and, and he can hit a ball. Um, but for me he's he's a fantastic player. Top player. I like that one. Yeah. Uh, next up, Triple H. Now, obviously, this is inspired by your pre-match water yeah. routine. <laughs> I like it a lot. I'm a massive wrestling fan, by the way. I love this. Time to play the game. Time to play the game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> For me, um, I did it once. I think it was like in a, a youth team game. Yeah. And I think I did well. And it's just, <laughs> just stuck with then. It's just stuck then. So it's not like I'm a big Triple H fan, and even though I do like wrestling. Yeah. It's just stuck with then and you know now I, I stand at the side of the pitch and I try and do it as quickly as possible now because yeah. um, I'm the captain and I can get there, do it as quick as yeah. possible so no one gets the picture because <laughs> I don't want to be known as spraying water in there. It's a bit <laughs> cringy, isn't it? But because I did well on that game, I can't yeah. not do it. Next up, Jude Bellingham. Another player, obviously you play with so many great players for club and country. Yeah. This is a man that is just, I mean, taking realms by storm this season. How would you describe Jude Bellingham in a word? On fire, yeah. Go on, talk to me. How, how, how good are we talking about with Jude Bellingham? Are we talking about Ballon d'Or winning levels soon? I mean, because he just seems to be, for the for someone of his age, it's just phenomenal what he's doing there, isn't it? Yeah. Again, same as Ireland, to hit the ground running in a different league at the club for the pressure that he's got on him. I think Benzema leaving, you kind of think. Do you know that helps him a bit, do you? I, I think I think it has done. Yeah. I think it has done. I think you kind of look and look around that team and. Okay, you've got Vinicius and some Rodrigo, some top quality players, but when they lost him, you kind of thought, okay, so where are the goals going to come if we don't go and get, yeah. you know, an out and out number nine? But he's proved that he can chip in with the goals. Um, and as you say, I think the sky's the limit for him, but we have a thing in England to bring him up yeah, really yeah. quickly. And I feel just, just let him do what he's doing. Yeah. He's a very level headed, or I don't want to say boy, I want to say young man. Yeah. Um, but it's got his feet firmly on his floor. I think he's got a good team around him. But let him just go and play his football. Yeah. Last one, goalkeeping. Inspired by your clean sheet yeah. in sticks for Man City. Yeah. Which is, I mean, not a lot of people can say that, by the way. <laughs> How could you describe goalkeeping? What you put in? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Boring. Boring. You didn't enjoy it. I thought it was great. <laughs> I thought it was a bit of banner. Because you put it on social media, you put, lads, don't worry, I've got this. Yeah. And it, <laughs> and it was a clean sheet. Yeah, the San Siro, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, it was at the San Siro. I thought. <laughs> He's like work. The, the free kick had a little bit of gunger on it. I had yeah, to take a little. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, just sometimes you have to kill it. I think Marsh says at um, England Basket. Right. So I put it in the basket. So I put it in the basket, <laughs> mate, knocked it down and gathered it up. But 
it's a lonely place back there. Is it? Yeah, I didn't want the ball nowhere near the net, but when the lads were keeping it in the corner, I think, you know, I was just looking up, thinking really? like, yeah, this is, it's a little bit boring. I haven't really got a winger to mark here. Right, okay. Yeah. So we won't be seeing you in sticks again. Manchester I mean, Derby, or any time soon. Hope, I hope I, I don't have to, but yeah. if required, the manager knows it's cool. <laughs> the manager knows it's cool. Carl, perfect night to end. Cheers. Top man, all Thank the best you. dressed to see you. Cheers, pal.